<laughs> Hello, I am Ivana Mowry Mora, and I am a high school junior who is looking for a way to look at STEM careers in a different way, to learn more about them, and to help uh, other high school students like you learn more about possible careers and to focus more on potential um, career interests. Today with me I have Teresa Saint Blancar, who is an aerospace engineer. Welcome. Hi, thank you very much. Well, my first question is what inspired you to become an engineer? So in my case, uh, I had a lot of people in my life uh, at that time in high school, when I was about your age, that um, were engineers. They were mechanical engineers, civil engineers. Um, so in reality, I was very good in, in uh, science and math in high school, and I truth, truthfully didn't know what to do. Um, so one of my teachers and, and then all the people that I had in my life recommended I consider engineering as a degree. So I came to University of Dayton um, and did mechanical engineering. Uh, in reality, I started as a chemical engineer, but I did not necessarily like all the chemistry classes. So I switched along the way to mechanical engineer, and here I am today. Did you find any obstacles on your way to becoming an aerospace engineer? Yes, uh, the curriculum in engineering is very hard, very tough. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot of math, science, and they really teach you a lot of problem solving skills along the way. So you do have to take a lot of classes that at the time might not make any sense to you. Mm -hmm. um, so just surviving through the four years or five years, depending on, on what degree you choose, um, it's pretty tough. And then along the way, you usually get the opportunity to work in some business, um, and that can be pretty challenging when mm -hmm. you're very young um, and not necessarily know what to expect when you go to those jobs. Um, did you face any obstacles as a woman in engineering? Yeah, definitely. Um, being a mechanical engineer, I felt like in, in civil engineering and chemical engineering there's a lot more women. In mechanical engineering, not so much. <laughs> so in many classes, it was me and maybe two other girls versus 50 guys. Um, and, and that in its own is very intimidating because even though you're equal and sometimes you even beat the guys in the grades, um, not having many other women in the room can be intimidating on its own. But very much in, the car in my career today is very similar a lot of times. Um, mm -hmm. I'm the only woman. For example, on Thursday we were having a dinner celebration for, for an award that we were getting and I was the only woman out of 15 other guys. Mm -hmm. So that gives you an idea that unfortunately we don't have a lot of women in the field. So I would love to do anything I can to inspire more people to do that. Um, what do you do day to day as in your career field? So it's a very interesting question because uh, I did start my career as an engineer uh, but very quickly I realized that I didn't necessarily love designing or anything like that so I decided to take my degree and, and go more into the commercial side mm -hmm. and be able and use it, the problem solving skills use them more with working with the customer directly. Um, today I am in a marketing role uh, within my company. Um, however, this marketing role is very technical, so I do have to understand very much how the engine works, um, how the airplane flies in order to be able to sell the product. Um, so having the, the, the technical degree helps tremendously. Mm -hmm. And do you have a message for anybody who might be interested in studying STEM or becoming an engineer? Yes, uh, my message is to go for it definitely because I found once you have this technical degree in engineering you can do whatever you want. You can go and be a lawyer, doctor, um, you can even do a marketing role like mine, you can go into sales. It's very key that you get, in my opinion, it's very key when you get this type of degree because they help you um, learn how to s problem solve anything, um, which is a skill in reality that I'm not 100% sure that you can get in some other uh, degree. Mm -hmm. But uh, and then it also gives you the opportunity if you really wanted to get into designing and and seeing how things work, 
you can also use the degree for that. Mm -hmm. And um, how can high school students like my age now, what can they do to take action and go towards a STEM career like in their high school and in their community? So I recommend taking all the uh, physics and calculus and all the, the maths and science because whether you like that or not, that's going to be part of your degree. Um, then I also recommend reaching out with people like myself or others in the community that are engineers um, and look for that mentor or that example that you want to follow. Um, in my career, it's been very helpful to always have mentors that I can look towards. Um, there's also college programs um, in the summertime, like University of Dayton has one. It's called Women in Engineering, and they bring you for a week, teach you all about the different uh, possibilities within engineering, and then you even get to have dinner with a real engineer out there. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it can vary from civil engineering to biomedical to aerospace. There's a lot of people that go to that dinner. So going to summer camps like that one, um, will probably help you um, along the way. Well, I just want to thank you very much. It was an honor to interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a good day.